David and Cheryl. Hello, how are you? Today's a Monday. I'm not filming it on Monday, but life is all good. Life is all good. So, for today's Monday Dear David and Cheryl video, I thought I would talk about learning from your mistakes. Now, I think it's fair to say that we all have mistakes that we make in life and we all learn from them. Sometimes we don't learn from them and we just keep on making the same mistakes all over again. We're only human, it's fine, we make mistakes, we're flawed human beings, we're flawed characters, none of us are perfect, there is no such thing as perfect. But yes, that is today's video. But before I get started in with the video, please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. And of course, please hit that little bell's notification button. And without further ado, let's just go in with the video, shall we? We shall. So like I said, today's video is learning about past mistakes that we have made. I think I've had my fair share of making mistakes. I think I've made more mistakes than anybody on this planet, if that's even humanly possible. But yes, I've made a lot of mistakes. I've learned from some, but some I just keep on making the same mistakes all over again. Don't ask me why. Like for example, some mistakes I can learn from, but I keep doing. Like, say, having an argument with my siblings, like, and taking my anger out of them, like maybe hitting them or something like that. Violence is never the answer. But say, for example, if me and my siblings are having a fight, or one of my siblings and I are having a fight, and I hit them, or I say something mean to them, and then I get in trouble. That's my mistake. That's what I did wrong. Do I try and learn from that? Yes. Do I make the same mistake again? Absolutely. Because, hey, we're siblings. Siblings aren't meant to get along all the time. We're meant to, in fact, I think siblings are meant to fight basically all the time. Am I okay with that? Absolutely not. Am I trying to change that? Absolutely yes. Of course I'm trying to change that. But it's harder with siblings because siblings... Oh, what do I know you? What do you do when you're being annoyed and you can't take it anymore? You lash out at them. My siblings are, can be incredibly mean to me. I should learn to ignore them by now. But do I? No. Should I? Absolutely. I should definitely try and ignore them. But it's really hard because I don't like being bullied. I will try and stick up for myself if my siblings are being mean to me. So if they're my siblings, absolutely. But you know, I just like sticking up for myself if my siblings are saying something that's so untrue about me, I will lash out because I hate it when they're mean to me. But I should learn to ignore them. I'm trying to learn from my mistake, I'm trying to fix my character flaw. But I have learned, or when I was in primary school, and not so much in high school, but a little bit in high school. Anyway, when I was in school in general, when I got old enough, I would start having crushes on boys in school or in my class. I should have learned to keep my mouth shut because of course no guy's ever gonna like me. I've been rejected by heaps of guys a lot. I'd say, hey, I have a crush on you or I'd tell my friends and then my friends or my so-called friends would go tell everybody else and then everybody else would find out and then it'd be like really awkward because I have a crush on them. I should have learned to keep my mouth shut which I have. I do have a new crush not my ex-boyfriend 
I have a new crush, which I kind of had a crush on for a while, but I haven't said anything. This person does not know and will probably never know unless the person is smart enough to figure it out, which God hell or no, help me, God help me if he does figure it out because I'd be dead right now. But I hope he never figures it out unless he has a crush of me and approaches me, which is very, very unlikely that he'll ever have a crush on me or that he does have a crush on me. But I have a crush on this guy, so yes. Um, you're never gonna know, so I've learned to keep my crushes to myself unless they approach me and tell me that I'll be like, hey, I have a crush on you too. But yes, that's something else that I've learned from my past mistakes. Um, yeah, so that's another past mistake that I've learned from. I've learned from a lot of my mistakes, like saying inappropriate things in social situations, like asking, oh, how old are you? Or, are you pregnant? Or, are you gonna have a baby? Like, no, nah, that's, that's inappropriate. Like, you're not meant to ask inappropriate things or what political party are you from? Are you religious? How much money do you earn every week or so? Like, that's inappropriate. I used to ask these questions a lot when I was like five or six. Not so much now, but yes. Those are some of the mistakes that I've made in the past that I'm trying to learn from. So yes, that is today's Dear David and Shara video. If you like this video, please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below, hit that little bell as a notification button. Follow me on all of my social media links down below. Instagram. Twitter. And of course, Snapchat. I shall see you all on Wednesday for another new Dear David and Shara video. Bye guys.